Welcome back netizens, as I have mentioned you in the previous session, I am going to cover all the image processing setup installation process in this session. So you can follow me smoothly from the beginning. We need to configure the working environment with three main setups. I am using here Visual Studio 2017, OpenCV DLL files and OpenCV Sharp library. Ok, let's get started with the Visual Studio installation process first. Don't worry guys, I will add all the needed links in the description box below. Ok, now simply open your web browser and just type Visual Studio 2017 download. You can select the first link from the section. It will direct you to the Visual Studio official main website. So you can go down and select 2017. Just click the download button. So if you log into your account, uh, it will automatically go to the downloading section. Otherwise, it will ask you to log into the account. Just you can uh, log in with the GitHub account or just a Gmail account. Okay, uh, since we are going to work with the community edition, uh, you can uh, select this downloader. Since I have already downloaded the files, uh, I will stop the download process from this point. Uh, there is no complex uh, download setup installation process for Visual Studio. You have to just uh, select the yes button only for the installation process. Uh, okay, uh, once you download the setup, you just install the process. Uh, so, once you are uh, done with the installation process, you can just uh, search for the Visual Studio 2017 from your uh, search bar. So, when you get the access to uh, Visual Studio 2017, you can start the uh, installation process of uh, another DLL files. Uh, in this session, I am going to use uh, 5 DLL files. These are the files I am going to use for the image processing uh, purpose. The last one is OpenCV Sharp uh, main library. There is another uh, installation guide for that one also. First, I show you the uh, installation process of these 5 libraries. Just open another tab for the uh, installation process of OpenCV libraries. Uh, this is the link I have to use for the OpenCV library. This is the official page of OpenCV library. Uh, so you can uh, find there are three links for zip and .exe files. Uh, you can just click the .exe file version. Then it will automatically download the setup for the system. So after that you have to just extract the files and copy and paste it uh, for the uh, C drive. C drive. Since I have uh, installed the library already, uh, I just stopped the process now. In my C drive, uh, you can see this is the installation uh, folder which I have used to install the CV2. When I uh, unextract the files from the DLL files, you can see like this view, third party app, bin data and all. So if you just click the bin folder, you can see all the CV libraries are there. I have shown you earlier, these are the libraries which I have uh, used to do the image processing techniques. So you can see the same libraries are presenting here also. So, you can see the uh, main folder structure. You have to add the OpenCV library uh, as, a, as a name with OpenCV.2 uh, like that. Uh, otherwise, if you keep any spaces between the name like program files or somewhere like this, if you install the files inside the program files, that won't work. Uh, that is from the developing side they are asking us to create a separate folder for OpenCV library that is how it's working so you have to create a separate file like OpenCV or something else without any spaces then only you can extract all the files in the OpenCV uh, one folder okay that's it for the CV2 libraries 
so now there's another file we have to install that is opencv sharp dll file that is the main opencv file uh, so just open another separate tab for that one and just copy paste the link i have provided you in the description box these are the releases related to opencv sharp library you just uh, click the opencv sharp 4.4 zip okay then it will download the opencv sharp uh, file for you since i have download uh, i'll stop by here once you download the uh, zip file you will be uh, shown like this one opencv sharp then you can extract that one into folder so you can see in this folder you can find the uh, exact uh, library you can just open and see what are the things in included in these files you can see that opencv sharp library i have show you in in my uh, description opencv sharp.dll that one also included in this one okay you can see now uh, now you all set with the uh, working environment okay uh, in the next episode i will show you how to add uh, these old installation libraries inside to a uh, visual studio application and how to build our first application with image processing techniques okay uh, i'll see you in the next episode uh, if you found this video helpful for your studies just subscribe and share with your friends good luck guys